it's called a lovey so it's kind of like a, a comfy blanket or something but it's also with like some sort of animal or yeah like bunny or bear uh, looking detail little bit of stuffing so that it feels like a teddy bear in this one part and then the rest of the cloth is just yeah snugly it's good I can really see that Johannes he's like using it between his fingers in the evening time he's sleeping with it and uh, he's like biting or sucking on this part so yeah let's get started it's really easy so what we need is some fabric and sewing machine you're only going to do straight stitches so it's really really easy simple like that um and then yeah i recommend doing it with a sewing machine you could do it by hand but that would take a while um, and then you're also going to need some stuffing uh, for this I bought some stuffing I use stuffing that I buy at the Panduro but um, anything will do really I really also like the idea that if you have like an old teddy bear or uh, toys that you're going to throw out it's possible to use or pillows you can use the um, stuffing from those so you don't have to buy it huh? Is that true? You want your lovey? Okay. So, what I'm gonna do for these ones, um, I really want the, I wanna do two blue, and then I'm gonna do two in this fabric on the one side. Um, and then the last one, we're five boys and one girl. So the last one is for the woman of the group, or the girl of the group. Um, but what I'm gonna do is uh, do one side with the, with the, um, uh, what do you say the pattern of the fabric and then the other side what I will do with gray because My honey over here she can embroider uh, letters <laughs> So I will be uh, just to add some extra personal touch. I'll be embroidering each name on the cloth. so Let's just cut And like I said, it's really really easy. You don't really need a pattern. Um, it's a very easy uh, project to do um, First of all, if you don't have a lot of time, but second of all, also, um, the I think the result can be so crisp, <laughs> so crisp and so um, uh, like fine looking, even though you don't have to use a pattern. Um, I'm gonna use about one centimeter of uh, uh, of extra space for sewing, so one centimeter of seam allowance. You can use an inch or a centimeter or however you would like. Um, but what I will do is that I will measure up uh, 30, actually let's make that 32, um, so I will measure up 30 by, uh, yeah, by 32. Come on. And like I said, it's not too big of a deal if this is not... So, from uh, here on out, I'm just cutting the squares that I need. Uh, I'm folding over the fabric to ensure that it's a, uh, that it's a perfectly sized square. 
and make sure that you have the amount of squares that you will need for your project. I needed 10 <laughs> since I was doing uh, four for the boys and one for the girl in the group. Uh, next, I'm uh, cutting the head and the ears for uh, my bunny. Um, make sure that you have uh, a good amount of seam allowance when you uh, cut these. Um, if you pause it and, and use my pattern you'll see the approximate size but what's important is just that you really have an inch or two centimeters of uh, seam allowance because trust me when you turn the head and the ears uh, inside out or, or um, uh, turn them right sides uh, uh, out uh, they will be a lot smaller <laughs> than you originally think. Uh, I also recommend putting a few centimeters uh, at the bottom where the let's call it neck would be, uh, so that you do have some fabric uh, to use when attaching it to the lobby. Um, make sure that you uh, sew them um, right sides together. Same thing goes for the ears. Um, also there, add some extra seam allowance um, and also some extra fabric at the bottom so that you, uh, you have enough to, uh, to sew. When it comes to these pieces, uh, you will need four pieces for the ears and two for the head. And as with any project, I always recommend that you um, press your uh, pieces because that's what makes the end result look really crisp and professional at the end. Just a quick uh, pause in the very important work of uh, ironing. Look at this little buddy, huh? Enjoying a front side view. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've put him this way and he seems pretty happy. He's finally strong enough in his neck to like keep his head upright. So I think this is a success. Especially considering you're so cranky this evening, huh? All right, back to work. When you are sewing the headpiece, um, you sew the ears first. Always do the ears first. Sew them, uh, like I said, right sides together and then turn them out. Um, what's important to remember when doing the head and the ears, doing this step, is that even though I'm showing here, uh, the ears um, uh, right sides facing uh, make sure that you sew the ears first and then you put them like this so then you put them uh, between the head pieces right sides together and turn the whole thing inside out this will ensure that you have uh, the ears actually <laughs> with the right uh, side of the fabric uh, to the right side once this is done you uh, place the head when it's turned out, you place it at the corner like I just showed. Uh, this 
so like this that you can see here the ears are turned right side out before placing them between the uh, head parts I also like to cut uh, the excess seam allowance off so that when you turn it inside out it will not be too bulky and with a little bit of um, with a little bit of um, stuffing uh, before you put it in the corner like I early, uh, showed earlier. When you are sewing the um, the blanket part of the lobby, uh, make sure that you start on a side that's uh, away from uh, the head and make sure that you leave a little bit of space open so that you can pull it out and uh, put it um, to the right side uh, before pressing it and closing the final stitch. Once the stitch is sewn closed, um, I also chose to both uh, top stitch my uh, lovey um, and also giving it an extra square in the middle um, to make sure that the um, that the lovey doesn't part in the middle. So when you wash it and so on, it still stays uh, cloth shaped. Um, rather than, uh, than being uh, pulled together easily. Hi guys, I hope that he will be going back to sleep quite soon, I think so. I am just about to finish up the last of the uh, bunnies um, for the mother group. I'm just missing to do the outstitching on two of them and then I'm gonna uh, iron the last four uh, and do the top stitching and they are done. So. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. It's uh, very, very easy. Um, it's, I wouldn't even say that it's a pattern that I thought of myself, because it's basically just, you know, once you get into sewing a little bit, you can start, fig start figuring these things out a little bit on your own. Um, but like I said, I did put the um, pattern <laughs> Uh, in the video so you can pause the video what I sometimes do on Pinterest or um, if I do uh, on Google or so on when I find a pattern that is uh, free and I don't have a printer or something I will put it on I'll put a white paper on my screen uh, on my on my computer and I'll zoom in and I'll kind of draw it out from there you could do that if you want um, yeah let's finish this one up and um, if you make it please uh let me know in the comments how it went uh post a picture of it um if you would like to see some more of my work i also have a instagram and these types of videos will be coming here quite regularly with some easy diys or at least some of the projects that i am doing myself um i'll put in the instagram uh the instagram page right here please go and follow it or consider following it if you think that uh the projects i'm doing are good